Hello, and thank you for joining us for this encore presentation of one of Viking's most special journeys. Our friends at All Travel look forward to building the trip of your dreams. And at Viking, we look forward to welcoming you on board. Enjoy the show. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining Traveling Virtually with Viking. We greatly appreciate the support of our travel advisors and their clients for taking the time to be with us today. Please note that our virtual chat and Q&A is open, so please feel free to type those questions in as we go. And now I'd like to introduce you to Matthew Zion, Director of Business Development, who oversees the territory from Los Angeles to San Francisco. Matt has been with Viking for three years and started in reservations, so he comes to this role with a wealth of knowledge on product and procedures. Matthew? Michael, thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. As Michael said, my name is Matthew Zion. I'm the Director of Business Development with Viking. Thank you to those advisors. Thank you for attending today. The goal today is to give you a really good overview of one of our newest products. That would be the Viking Mississippi. This product has been about a decade in the making. We're well known, of course, for river cruising, but a little bit further away, uh, the, the waterways of Europe. We started in 1997 uh, in Russia, of all places. We've grown to become the, the world's largest river cruise line. In 2015, we launched our ocean division, and now in 2022, we'll begin sailing a little bit closer to home on the Mississippi. We are, of course, currently booking. If at any point you have questions about availability, pricing, if you want more information, reach out to that favorite advisor who referred you here today. And Michael and I are live currently, so if you have questions, don't hesitate to use that chat box. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my web camera for now, and let's dive right in. The Mississippi traverses thousands of miles, uh, just an unbelievable amount of scenery, nature, culture, history, all along this great waterway. It is a 10 state river system that hugs this great river road. We have built out three eight day itineraries and one 15 day voyage. Today, I'm gonna take you virtually along our 15 day voyage, which will also encompass each of those three eight day voyages. Uh, but before we do that, I want to give you a little bit of a background on Viking, what sets us apart, why we're probably different from any line you've sailed on previously. Then we'll take a look at this brand new build, the Viking Mississippi. We'll look at each of the purpose-built spaces, take a look at the staterooms, and then we'll go right on onto this great waterway. The difference with Viking is we really focus on the destination. So if you have not sailed with us previously on river or ocean, we are in port most of the time. From the moment you wake up until you're having dinner or going to sleep, you're really in port. It's very easy to embark and disembark the vessel. Our focus is the history, culture, arts, music, and of course the food of everywhere that we travel. Our philosophy here at Viking is very simple. We're probably the first to say we are not trying to be everything to everyone. We focus on a core demographic of around 55, 55 plus. Now, that is not to say you won't find younger people on board. Of course you will, but you will never find children. 18 is our minimum age. So we simply do not cater to children or families. Most people I find are very curious, very active. They're interested in history, culture, and geography of where we're traveling. We offer a very inclusive product. I will review today what is included and what's not. If you have additional questions, please reach out to your advisor again, but we do not nickel and dime at any point. We try to be as efficient as possible, both in our operations and the build out of our ships. If you look at the Viking Mississippi vessel here, you can see on the roof of the ship, there are solar panels. We pass those savings along to our guests. And ultimately we hire the best staff in the cruise industry. We're privately owned. Our staff is treated like family. Our retention rate is 90% year over year, which I find just unbelievable. We are known as the thinking person's cruise. We'll provide you with reading lists prior to your journey. There are also videographies about each of the ports and destinations that we visit. In this downtime, if you haven't yet, I invite you to take a look at viking.tv. Again, that's viking.tv. It will be just a wealth of knowledge. There's really no uh, sales pressure, it's more, it's more exploring the world from Viking's point of view to discover the world of Viking. Uh, our historians will give weekly lectures there, 
tons of different videographies. Uh, it's a wealth of knowledge and a great resource on Viking.tv. We're bringing a very modern approach to the Mississippi with that destination-focused journey. It's a true Scandinavian style. This will feel very familiar to you if you've sailed on our longships or our ocean vessels. We're bringing this same aesthetic to the Mississippi. Light, bright spaces, floor to ceiling, glass windows. It's truly about bringing that outdoors in. We literally bring the timbers on board. Now, if you are looking for formal dining, butlers, white gloves, brass, I can tell you right now we're probably not the right line for you. At no point do you have to get gussied up for dinner. We understand you're on vacation. Relaxation is an integral component of every Viking sailing. Uh, so it really should be traveling in this modern approach, but very comfortably. And I've mentioned the service. I, I think the service for me is an unbelievable level of detail. I do believe it's what sets Viking apart. Uh, and I think the devil's always in the details. I'll point out how we go above and beyond all throughout our today's presentation. And food, we've got to talk about food, I think with any cruise line, uh, certainly any cruise I've experienced, it's no different with Viking. What I love is our chefs will go out to the local markets and bring the food back. So you're getting a taste and a flavor of that region that you're traveling through. And I think of the Mississippi, there are unbelievable culinary delights. You've got that Memphis barbecue, Southern cooking, Creole seasoning. Uh, it's an adventure in and of itself. Now, there's always good old standard options on one side of the menu and then those local regional flavors on the other. When it comes to our onshore experiences, we like to go deeper into the destination. We do this by what we call the Viking way of exploration. So typically, our shore excursions will fall under one of these three categories, which would be local life, working world, or privileged access. A perfect example of a local life excursion here on the Mississippi is when we have the opportunity to visit the John Deere Pavilion. This was really created as a celebration of agriculture past, present, and future, and you have the opportunity to visit the John Deere family homes. Working World Excursion, we've created an arrangement with a family-run Iowa dairy farm. You can meet the family, visit the farm, feel free to ask questions, and privileged access. We have arrangements with organizations throughout the world where our Viking guests have access to areas that are off limits to the general public, or we're able to access areas before the general public. And we call that privileged access through Viking. All right, very important slide. What is included? What is not? There is one shore excursion at every single port of call that is included in the overall value. These are small groups, about 20 to 30 people. What I love is the guides are not from the ship. They're local guides, typically born and raised in that region that you're visiting. So it gives you a completely different perspective. If it's a smaller port, we always have a walking tour. We do have a group that goes at a slower pace. If it's a larger port, say St. Louis, we'll have a motor coach that takes you around to show you all of the highlights. Now, there are optional excursions above and beyond the included, but you'll always have one included excursion at each port of call. All of the meals are provided. There are multiple dining options on board, including 24-hour room service. I think the big takeaway is there's no additional fees or charges for any of the dining. With the meals, it is free-flowing beer, wine, and soft drinks. You have to tell them to stop pouring. I always like a kid. They will continue to fill up your glass. At any point, you can get specialty coffees, teas, bottled water. We provide bottled water in each of the staterooms. As you disembark the vessel for the day, we'll hand you a bottled water. So you have it when you're out and about. When you come back to the ship, nice warm hand towels. Again, great attention to detail. Wi-Fi is available. If you want to stay connected, you can. There's no daily fees or connection charges. And the price that you pay through your advisor and Viking covers all of the port fees, the taxes, the charges are included in that price. There's not an introductory price, and then by the time you get down, that price has increased. Uh, it is an inclusive price. Now, what's not covered would be, as I mentioned, those optional excursions. If you choose anything above and beyond the included, that would be additional. And then gratuities are not provided in that inclusive value. With the gratuities, you can choose to prepay them if you wish. You can tack them onto the bill at the end. You can pay them in cash. Very flexible, 
just not included in that overall value. And then I do wanna to touch on alcohol. As I mentioned, it's free flowing beer, wine, soft drinks with the meals. However, outside of mealtime, there would be a charge. Now you have several options. Something I find fascinating with Viking is there's never a corkage fee. So as you're traveling, if you do pick up something local, some craft beer, local wine, spirits, you can bring it back on board. You don't have to sneak it in. I know all the little tricks. It's not necessary. It is completely above board. Take it right to the bar if you wish. We'll open it for you. Every stateroom does have a refrigerator as well. In addition, we offer what's called a Silver Spirits beverage package. That's an unlimited drinks package. It opens up the bar for you and the wine list. And it's typically less than $200 for an eight day itinerary. So just based upon your preferences, you certainly have many options. Now let's dive in and let's take a look at this brand new ship that Viking is bringing to the Mississippi named the Viking Mississippi. It is a Viking vessel through and through. It will have that similarity, that sense of home, a sense of arrival uh, when you do step on board. It is a US built ship. Again, we'll start sailing in 2022. 450 feet in length with a 75 foot beam, 193 staterooms on board with a total of 386 guests. Again, this is very intimate traveling. We do not build large ships. Everything is that small ship experience and that crew to guest ratio 2.6, that level of service and detail will certainly be there just as it's you've grown accustomed to on our river and ocean ships. As I mentioned, that look, that feel is that same Scandinavian design and comfort that guests enjoy on our long ships and our ocean vessels, but truly purpose-built spaces, some nods uh, exclusively for the ship for the Mississippi. Perfect example here is in the reception area and our grand staircase. Lining the wall of that grand staircase are excerpts, portions of Mark Twain's very famous Huckleberry Finn novel uh, that really kind of lead into that entry space right into the vessel. The restaurant, exact same look and feel as our river and ocean ships. A table for two, table for 10 can of course all be accommodated. Uh, something to remember, there's no formal dining, as I mentioned, so you never have to get dressed up uh, whatsoever, and no set dining time. So if you've sailed with other lines where you have early seating, late seating, it's not something that we do. As long as you arrive within the hours that we are serving, of course, you'll be very well accommodated. The living room is a new space for the Mississippi, kind of our grand meeting space. Here's where you can attend a lecture. We will bring on local entertainers to perform where we're able, uh, take in a cooking demonstra a demonstration. Uh, wrapping around the living room are these beautiful, intimate spaces. You have the floor to ceiling glass windows. I feel like I'm sitting right in someone's home. The River Cafe, another dining option on board. This is exclusive to the Mississippi. Uh, it has that beautiful flow that Viking is known for. It opens right out onto the Aquavit Terrace, which is a signature component of every Viking vessel. It's that true alfresco dining experience. We have the most alfresco dining on any river ship on the Mississippi. This Aquavit Terrace flows onto what is my favorite spot of the ship, the Sun Terrace with the Infinity Plunge Pool. So here we made a very conscious decision not to build that iconic paddle wheel Instead, we're bringing that very modern approach and all the way aft at the rear of the vessel, we have this stunning infinity plunge pool. It will literally feel like you're going to swim over the edge right into the Mississippi. Now, if you've sailed with us on our ocean ships, you're familiar with this space. It's our Explorer's Lounge. It's located all the way forward on the ship. Great bar here, one of my favorites. Uh, and beautiful floor to ceiling panoramic glass windows and you get this beautiful bird's eye view on the upper deck of the Explorer's Lounge. This lounge opens all the way forward onto the bow of the ship. You have another beautiful outdoor seating area and from here you really get that captain's point of view all the way forward on the vessel. As far as our staterooms, they're all modeled after our award-winning Viking Ocean staterooms. Here's where I believe the details really shine uh, when it comes to the amenities in each of the rooms. With the Viking Mississippi, there are seven categories available, seven categories that you can choose from. Again, I, I stress that please reach out to your advisor to look at availability, to go into further details with these. I know this font is quite small on your screen. The big takeaway is every category of stateroom is exterior facing. So there are no interior rooms whatsoever. 
There are eight French balcony staterooms. So those are entry level staterooms with the exception of those eight rooms. Every other category stateroom does have a floor to ceiling sliding glass door that opens onto your own private veranda where you're able to step out and sit down. Let's go through these so that you get a better understanding. Most economical French balcony stateroom, you have a floor to ceiling sliding glass door, only eight of these rooms on board. The glass door does open, you can get fresh air in the room. You can lean out, but you're not able to step out. It does open up to a railing. Now every category stateroom has a king bed. This bed can be separated to two twin beds if you wish. Something I'm not able to do is add three to a stateroom. So everything is based upon double occupancy. You have drawers to fully unpack, a refrigerator and safe in each room, a full closet to hang items, and your luggage slides underneath the bed. The bathrooms, here's where the details shine for me. Uh, beautiful French glass doors that lead into the shower. Every category stateroom has heated bathroom floors, which I think is a nice touch. We take it even a step further and we heat that mirror in the bathroom. So when that shower steams up, the mirror never fogs up. And I do like to kid, all of the amenities, the body wash, shampoo, conditioner, lotion, they're larger bottles. They are color coded in large font, really easy to open. So if you do not have your readers on, you still know what you're putting on your bodies in the shower. One category up here are ver our veranda and deluxe veranda staterooms. Now you have two club chairs and that floor to ceiling sliding glass door opens up onto your own private veranda where you are able to step out and sit down. You'll find two chairs and a small table. What I like about this category and all categories higher is the refrigerator is now stocked daily at no additional charge with soft drinks and snacks. And the biggie for me is there is a coffee maker in this category and all categories higher. Very nice touch. The penthouse veranda, a little increase in square footage. Now you have a couch, club chair, and of course the veranda. That refrigerator is now stocked not only with soft drinks and snacks, but also alcoholic beverages at no additional fees. My favorite category is always the penthouse junior suite. 400 square feet, it's the first time I really feel the difference in that increased square footage. You have a bedroom area, you have a separate living area, and then to save any marriage, it's the first category with dual vanity in the bathroom. The terrace suites are a new category for the Mississippi. These have a true divider between the bedroom area and the living area. You'll find a television in both sections and a very expansive outdoor terrace. And then finally, our Explorer Suites carried over directly from our award-winning Viking Ocean Ships. These are our largest staterooms, varying from 657 to 1,024 square feet. Square footage just varies based upon where the stateroom is located on board. Let's dive in deeper. Let's look at the Mississippi and how we've divided the journeys along this great waterway. So we have four itineraries. There are three eight-day itineraries and one grand 15-day voyage. Now these itineraries are all based upon the time of year. So the seasonality dictates when these will be offered. For our inaugural season, we have Heart of the Delta, New Orleans and Southern Charms, America's Heartland, and then the 15-day America's Great River. That 15-day voyage, America's Great River, was a complete sleeper hit for us. We had no idea it would become so popular. We have actually completely sold out of our inaugural season. We have had to open up 2023 sailings uh, just due to the popularity and demand. Heart of the Delta will be offered in the spring and the fall months. This is New Orleans to Memphis or vice versa. You can embark in Memphis and work your way down to New Orleans. Eight-day itinerary, of course, there is a guided tour at each port, visiting three different states, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Tennessee. New Orleans and Southern Charms, really one of my favorites. This will be offered in those cooler winter months, uh, December, January time period. It's round trip New Orleans to New Orleans. So one of my favorite cities. If you've not experienced New Orleans before, I think this is a wonderful opportunity. The ship, if you look at day one and day two, actually overnights in port. It will act as a hotel. Uh, so it's not necessary for you to come in earlier, or stay later. I think you're getting quite a bit of time in New Orleans and we're visiting a different port of call every single day. 
America's heartland is that northern portion of the Mississippi. This will be offered in those warmer summer months after the snow melt. Uh, this travels from St. Louis up to St. Paul or vice versa from St. Paul down to St. Louis. Again, eight days, a guided tour at every single port of call and you have no days of scenic cruising. You're visiting a different port every single day. And then finally, America's Great River. This is that 15 day voyage traveling from St. Paul to New Orleans or vice versa, New Orleans down to St. Paul. I like the map overview. I think it gives you a really good look at each of the cities, the quaint towns that we'll be visiting. Each port of call is denoted by a black dot. These are the same cities that we visit on those three eight day itineraries. So for this virtual voyage, let's start in the north. Let's start in St. Paul. We'll work our way down to New Orleans and let's visit each of our ports of call here on the mighty Mississippi. We'll start in St. Paul, Minnesota. After boarding, you have the afternoon that is yours to relax. You can explore the city on your own, get acquainted with the ship. Known as the Twin Cities, it boasts distinctive neighborhoods, very ethnically diverse, traditional contemporary eateries, and an incredible art scene, all served up with those friendly Midwestern manners. Day two, we'll enter into Red Wing, Minnesota. Red Wing probably rings a bell. It's best known for those American-made Red Wing shoes, which produce footwear for soldiers in both of the world wars. Day three, we'll enter into Wisconsin, La Crosse, Wisconsin. After breakfast on board, you have the opportunity to explore La Crosse and its numerous sites on the National Register of Historic Places with a panoramic tour of the city. You'll hit all of the important architectural landmarks but what I really love about La Crosse is lining the riverfront, they have this whole collection of engaging statues that really make it feel like this open air museum. Um, really beautiful little town. Day four, we're traversing into Iowa, Dubuque, Iowa. We'll arrive here and you can capture that flavor of life along the Mississippi during the great steamboat era. This city is known as the masterpiece on the Mississippi and the included tour is a visit to the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium, which is here on your screen. Day five, Quad Cities, Iowa. Here's where that working world, local life, Viking way of exploration will uh, really be on full display with a visit to the John Deere Pavilion and the John Deere Family of Homes, created as a celebration of past, present, and future of agribusiness. Day five, Burlington, Iowa. It's home to numerous historic buildings. Burlington really grew into a major economy with the arrival of the steamboats and the railroad. Uh, the included tour is a drive through small town America. You'll have the chance to peek through some museums, parks, and something that I found very interesting. I always thought the crookedest street was in San Francisco. As it turns out, it is here in Burlington, Iowa. Uh, you can take a stroll along Snake Alley, the world's crookedest street. Day seven, Hannibal, Missouri, best known as the birthplace of author Mark Twain and the setting of his adventures of Tom Sawyer and adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Uh, you can really see the sights of Twain's days in Hannibal with the included tour, which is a walk in the footsteps of Tom and Huck, seeing the town and childhood home where Mark Twain was born and raised and where he drew inspiration for his most famous novels. Day eight, a little bit larger city here, uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Of course, the, uh, the gateway to the West, just a diverse array of celebrated architectural treasures. The included tour will attempt to hit as many of those as possible, really hitting the best of St. Louis. You can explore the old cathedral, the old courthouse, got to see the towering gateway arch and a ride along Market Street. There's an optional excursion here, which is a visit to one of America's oldest breweries. That would be the Anheuser-Busch Brewery, home to those very famous Clydesdales. Well past a week into sailing before we're going to give you a day to just sit back and really relax as we enter into the lower Mississippi. You'll see an astonishing array of different landscapes, uh, deep, lush green forests, lots of vegetation, a patchwork of fertile farmlands, all kind of hugging the, uh, the shores of the Mississippi. And you'll be rested, ready to go after the, the day of scenic cruising as we enter into Memphis, Tennessee. Here's where I think the food will kick into high gear with the Memphis barbecue. Known as the Queen City of the South, 
course, the birthplace of Memphis blues, very popular vaudeville shows of the early 20th century. The included tour is a bucket list item for many people. It's a visit to the fabled estate of Elvis Presley. That would be Graceland, uh, something I've not experienced yet. Uh, and after that day, we've got another day to rest up uh, as we go a little bit lower on the Mississippi with day 11 of scenic cruising. This day I would take to really take advantage of all the amenities of the ship. Pick up a book in the library. The library on board is curated to the itinerary. So we'll have books on the history, culture, arts, and music of all of the cities that we're visiting and the regions that we travel through. Uh, take in a lecture on board, maybe attend a cooking demonstration. Hopefully you've got some great weather. You can enjoy that infinity plunge pool. And you'll be rested, ready to go for day 12, as we are really in the south now with Vicksburg, Mississippi. Here, you can feel that southern tradition. It flows all through the city's veins. It's very rich in history, especially Civil War history. During the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln called it the key to the south. And the included tour is a visit to the Vicksburg National Military Park. Day 13, Natchez, Mississippi, really entering into small town America. Here's where I think that southern food will kick into high gear. Uh, it is a beautiful town distinguished by more than 500 historic buildings, including over 200 perfectly preserved homes that still grace its broad avenues. And day 14, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, a little Creole seasoning in that food now. Uh, it's set on the eastern banks of the Mississippi River. You can take a panoramic city tour of the area, hear the tales of the hardworking, fun-loving Cajun people and their contribution to Louisiana's history and culture. The included tour was curated specifically by Viking for you, visiting the new and the old state capitals, the old governor's mansion, and many more. And then finally, we'll arrive in one of my favorites, New Orleans, Louisiana. Here, you have the option after breakfast on board, you can transfer from the ship to the airport or vice versa, you can transfer from the ship to a hotel. Now, I would highly recommend when you're looking at flights to take a look at Vikings included air. Uh, so our air, if you work with your advisor, you can take advantage of our contracted rates that we have with every major carrier. Uh, these rates are usually much less than if you would try to book the flights on your own. And what's nice is the transfers are included. So we have a representative that picks you up at the airport, greets you, takes you to the ship, and does the same thing on the back end. In addition, with working with your advisor and Viking, you can add a pre or post extension. If you hasn't, haven't visited New Orleans before, I highly recommend coming in early or staying later. There are so many sights, sounds, drinks, and foods to experience. Uh, you can definitely fill a couple of days. If you do that through your advisor in Viking, again, we'll pick you up at the airport. We take you to a four or five star hotel that's located right in the heart of the city. Beyond any of the staff at the hotel, we provide a Viking concierge. So you still have that main point of contact. Breakfasts are always provided, and then we'll transfer you from the hotel to the ship or from the hotel back to the airport, just depending on your direction of travel. I hope you have enjoyed this, uh, this virtual cruise, if you will. I know we're all stuck at home right now. It's nice to kind of get out and experience the world virtually. We look forward to welcoming you on board in 2022. If you have questions, if you want further details, availability, or pricing, please reach out to the advisor who referred you. Thank you so much for attending. Stay safe and stay healthy. And Michael, I'm happy to answer any questions that might've popped up. Perfect. So the first question, Matthew, is when is the most popular time we're seeing you know, people book the Mississippi River? It is honestly completely up to you. We will be sailing year round. So it really just depends on what you're wanting to see. If you wanna see the changing of the fall colors, well, you need to go in the fall. If you want to see the blooms in the spring, it's the springtime. Uh, if you want to do that Southern celebration, that's offered in December and January, we, where we go round trip. You're not going to have the heat and humidity during that time. So it's a very difficult question. I don't think there is a bad time to go. Great. And then the next question is specifically for our guests that are looking at, you know, available inventory, you know, obviously they're going to want to reach out to their, to their travel advisor to make those accommodations. But we're selling 2022 and 2023. What itineraries are, are available right now and, and what should um, you know, somebody look for? 
the challenge I think always with Viking is that we don't build large ships. So they are only small ships. So we always do have limited availability. And this has proved to be a very popular product. I think especially during this time, because it's something a little bit closer to home. Uh, that's where your advisor is really going to be the best resource for you. The inventory is changing constantly. So they're going to be your best resource to really tell you what is available, what type of staterooms, the length of the journeys, they'll be the best point of contact. Perfect. And then outside of that, you know, I know we have a recommended gratuities on the rivers of Europe. What are the recommended gratuities in North America? Great question. It's typically around $15 per person per day that will tip out your entire staff. And again, you can prepay them if you wish. I know a lot of guests choose to do that just for a budgeting standpoint. You can tack it onto the bill at the end, or you can pay it in cash. It's very flexible. It's just one of those few things that is not included in the inclusive value. And we just received another question specific to how many Mississippi ships we currently have just one right now, uh, which is why I think the the availability in that demand is so high. Uh, if I know Viking, I'm sure there's more on the way, but right now we only have one ship. So if this is something you're interested in, reach out to that advisor. Definitely. Well, I think that's it for questions. And I just want to thank you so much, Matthew, for your presentation. And I want to thank all of our advisors and their clients for taking the time to be with us today. Please, if you have any additional questions on this itinerary or any of the Viking itineraries, please reach out to your advisor. They are really the experts in this field and can assist further. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.